Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives, still working on engineering science, uh, working with question papers and revisions. So in this platform guys, I'm having the question paper which was actually written. Uh, this is uh, actually February 2022. So this was actually February 2022, working on friction. So the first question on 4.1 was to list the three ad Disadvan okay, these are disadvantages of friction. Okay, list three disadvantages of friction. Okay, so I have a list of uh, disadvantages. So you can actually choose any three from these ones that I'm having. That uh, frictional forces cause the surface moving across one another to wear away. To wear away is actually like uh, this surface, they are crushing each and every time. So they are actually. Uh, moving from the original format okay or the original form that is to where we then uh, friction causes noise and uh, we know that uh, guys when there's friction these metals are actually sparking and these noises and so forth so these are actually some of the disadvantages then friction causes fluids to move with difficulty in pipes and uh, friction causes drills blades and can be scissors etc whatever that you're going to have to become blunt so it's to become blunt that is uh, actually from a sharper surface then it's now a blunt surface something like that okay so that's what we had on the disadvantages then we are given on uh, 4.2 a granite block we are given a granite block with mass of 0 0.1 ton rests on an inclined plane of 20 degrees to the horizontal Take the coefficient of friction as 0 0.36. Okay. Calculate the following the weight component perpendicular to the inclined plane, the weight component parallel to the inclined. Okay. So we are given something like this, guys. I, I want you to cross check here. It's actually an inclined that you are given uh, with an angle of a 30. T is 20 degrees, not 30 degrees. This is 20 degrees in between, like this. Okay. So on this incline that you are given it's uh there is a mass of the block which is actually 0 0.1 ton okay so when you are working with mass make sure that you work with mass in kgs so you have to convert this 0 0.1 ton to kg so how can you convert 0 0.1 ton to kgs remember you multiply by 1000 1 ton is equal to 1000 kgs so multiplying by 1000 you are going to obtain something like 100 kgs okay if you multiply properly these two 0 0.1 times 1000 which is going to give us 100 kgs okay so we have the mass now in kgs like that so let's see what you are given then you are given the take the coefficient of friction as 0 0.36 so you have the coefficient of friction which is 0 0.36 okay so we know that uh, when you're given a diagram like this you're going to have the frictional force the parallel component uh, we are going to have the weight and also the perpendicular uh, component in this case so there are so many things that you're going to have in this case okay so the first part we are asked to calculate the weight component perpendicular take note guys perpendicular to the plane okay so when it is perpendicular is this one f perpendicular uh, or it can be written as fc from your formula sheet this is given as fc so fc or it's actually f perpendicular like this so if it is the perpendicular component this is 4.21 a perpendicular component is actually equivalent to w cos theta okay so w cos theta that is weight cos theta where w is the weight which is actually equal to mg okay so you're going to have mg cos theta which is the mass times the gravitational force of acceler gravitational acceleration sorry which is the mass is 100 by 9.8 by cos theta which is cos of the angle this angle so 100 for the mass 9.8 you are given this cost uh, acceleration of uh, due to gravity then uh, cost 20 degrees okay so always here you just make sure that you use your calculator properly so you're going to have 100 uh, by 9,8 make sure also your calculator is in degrees okay by cost 20 
uh, which is going to give you a decimal of 920,8. This is comma 8987. Okay, so it's going to be comma 899, comma 899. Okay, so that's actually the horizontal component. So like I said, this horizontal component can be FC or it can be F parallel like that. So that's what we are have, having in this case. Then we move on to another question which is actually asking us to calculate the weight component parallel to the plane. So the parallel uh, part in this case, this is the parallel which is W sine theta. So this one is equal to W sine theta. So take note about this one, W sine theta, uh, that's sine theta, yes. Okay, so now let's substitute this uh, we have 4.22 which is f as this one uh, or f parallel or it can be f parallel like this okay so this one is w sine theta so you can now uh, substitute the information that's uh, 100 by 9.8 by sine 20 degrees so that's the only change that you're doing is that now you are having sine 20 instead of uh, cos 20 you are now having a uh, sine 20 degrees okay so what i'm just going to do is to use sine uh, this time so if i use sine it's going to give me 355 comma okay that's the decimal that you are obtaining something like that so we have 335 comma one uh, this one if you round off to three decimal places seven is going to change nine into ten and this ten as to eight so it's going to be one eight zero newtons so that's your fs or your f parallel uh, component that's the parallel component uh, from this information okay then another question was to calculate the friction uh, the frictional force okay so the frictional force if you're asked to calculate the frictional force we are going to use this concept for the frictional force. This is actually 4.23. So the frictional force, uh, always I use this formula, which is the, we are given the coefficient of friction, okay, by a W cos theta like this. So it's going to be W cos theta, which is actually this W cos theta is the perpendicular component, okay, that's your FC which is the perpendicular component. So that means the frictional component is going to be the coefficient of friction, uh, which is the frictional force. So if the component of uh, the coefficient of friction, so which is 0 0.36, 0 0.36 multiply by W cos theta, of which if you are to cross check, this W cos theta is this one here. This W cos theta is the this component here so you obtain 920,899 so you're going to use this 920,899,899 like this okay so let's see what you're going to have if we multiply these two together 0, 0,36 uh, so you make sure that you just multiply properly 0, 0,36 uh, multiply by that's 920 comma 899 920,899 which is 31 is 331 which is 331 comma 524 yes this one is going to change into 4 newtons something like that okay so that's what you are going to to have in this case that's as our frictional force which is actually uh in newtons just like a normal friction is going to be in newtons like that okay so let's see another part that we are given is the minimum on 4.24 the minimum force required to pull the block up the incline and that is eight marks for everything okay uh so you can just write this is here that's uh, 4.24 so whenever you're asked to mean the minimum the minimum is f down and if it is maximum is f up okay so this is f down which is equivalent to the frictional force minus the parallel component uh, remember this parallel component is the fs okay so that's where you use this you subtract okay so that's the frictional force which is this one which is three three one comma five two four minus the 
the parallel component which is this one um, the parallel component we obtained this before which was 303 this one that's your parallel component this one or your FS which was 335 335,18 newtons okay so if I subtract these two I'm supposed to obtain answer there that I'm looking for so I'm just going to use this part which is 331,524 minus 335,18 so take note there's something that is going to happen here uh, take note it's going to be negative 3,656 newton which is a negative so this is f down which is a negative uh something like that so cross check guys how you attempt these questions cross check how you attempt these questions uh the diagrams how you are going to end up with the diagrams and so forth but uh as for this question that's actually what we had working on revisions and uh questions and question papers from uh, uh, the ones that we have written before so that's it guys on engineering science entry for maison african motives till we meet again